Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you shaved your head, I let me see. Did. Looks good. It's not bad. <laughs> I got my hair, guys. Oh my god! <laughs> Ready? In three, two, one. <laughs> I did it. Here's what it looked with obviously the Nike hat on. And now here's what I look with it off. This is what I like. It actually feels so nice when you run it through your hands. Like, it feels amazing. Hopefully you guys like it too. All right, so now let's get down to the point because I'm not trying to make this into a very emotional or lengthy video. I want to try and keep it as short as possible. But the main question that I got was, why did you do it? And here's my response. I have two big reasons. My main one, was I was going through like a big hair situation. I actually didn't notice until about a week and a bit ago that my hair was actually thinning out. And for me who like to who love to preach to my clients like be more in tune with your body or do the, this and that like usually I'm really good at it, but I guess not that much for the year of 2021 because now it's 2022 happy new year guys yeah i just wasn't in tune like i didn't even notice that every time i was combing my hair that on the daily i was actually losing hair how did i come to that realization when i was doing my wash day i was staring in front of the mirror and just like actually staring and noticed there was a big line like you could see that things were thinning out. Even if I was to part it in a different way, if I was just to stand right here in front of you, you could clearly see my scalp. I was coming to that situation where, you know what, like I'm tired of doing just a chop here and just resetting. Why can't I go to the extreme, just reset completely and just avoid using products overall? Because to be honest with you, I was just getting really tired of doing the whole fucking wash day, then leave-in conditioner, then the cream, and then the gel, and then the diffuser. Like, I was just tired of it. Um, not only that, like, I was fed up of always putting my hair up even after a wash day because I had to take care of clients, and then my hair just gets oily so fast. It was like a bunch of things that I was just so over it i was so over it when i found what was going on in front of the mirror I, I came to that decision you know what i'm gonna cut my hair completely off just start fresh and you know hope for the best the second the second reason because i only have two i only have two the second reason was i was so stressed out so the reason why the hair thinning and stuff was happening was because from the month of October till December, like, yeah, I was stressing out. I was holding a lot of situations that I wish I could confront. Yeah, all the exciting things with branding and like the changes and stuff, but like on the personal behind the scenes, I just wasn't happy with certain things. All I could think about was negative thoughts and not even the positives anymore. Like everyone was bothering me. Everyone was annoying me. That is not normal for me. And I told myself, you know, letting this whole thing go means letting go of everything that's happened throughout my whole 20s and just start fresh start over and just only look ahead now this decision was made a week ago a week ago and if you watched my vlogs and if you haven't i would say definitely go backtrack i did talk about possibly shaving my head and stuff like that i actually talked to angie asking her this is what i want to do can you be the person to do it now why angie it's because ever since i met her she has been beside me supporting any decision that i've made through thick and thin she's not once doubted my decisions she's helped me get rid of like the toughest portion of my life and make me who i am now the confidence the self-love and stuff she's taught me more than i've ever learned angie is just that that ride or die for me. I'll never let it go, and as well as my other friend Amanda. Like, when I told Amanda, she was all for it too. Like they, their reactions were both very similar. Two very different people, but two very supportive ones that I've, I'm gonna hold on to for the rest of my life. And I'm not gonna lie, like when I told Angie and Amanda, 
the difference here is Amanda was so excited doing it saying like oh my god I should do it right now this and that whereas Angie was like I'm all for it but are you sure you're not going through a midlife crisis? Are you stressed? Is there something that's going on mentally? Because you don't have to do it like this extreme. Maybe you just need to, you know, think it through. Just a whole bunch of things. I'm like, no, man, like this is for real, for real. I'm going to do it. And I don't think she's used to it because I've never given her like those extreme decisions. Like every, every decision I've made is very calculated. Yes, I'll take risks here and there, but I've never done something extreme like this before <laughs> so what were the reactions when i did this it was all positive when i posted it on my instagram story and stuff like all like my phone was blowing up a lot of people and i would say a lot of them were very supportive very positive encouraging it was so nice to see those things to know that people support anything that i do in person reactions like kamara said it seemed normal my brother made fun of me saying I look like the bully from Toy Story. My mom actually, hers was pretty funny because I, I was a little bit nervous. Um, I thought that she was going to react a certain way because for her and I'm pretty sure for other people, long hair means a tighter, a closer connection with God. And I thought maybe she was going to give me a lecture, but instead she was very supportive and said, you know what? I honestly thought you were just joking. Um, I will be honest with you. Kamara at one point was questioning like this decision, kept urging me not to do it where I started to get a little bit annoyed. And I asked him, if I was to keep my hair, like what is it that you do with my hair? Besides looking at it, do you style it? Do you take care of it? Like you're not touching it. It's all, it's all mine. So if I make this decision, are you not going to love me the same way because I don't have my hair and stuff? Like I just needed him to understand what his comments were doing to me. So this is my first day having a buzz cut for the next who knows how long. I have no idea how long I'm gonna keep this look for or when I decide to grow my hair and stuff. But the moment that I woke up, I feel so refreshed. I feel so free. Like I got rid of all this baggage behind me. I'm not looking back anymore, I'm looking ahead. This decision just has a huge reasoning for me and I love, I love how I feel today. I love it and I hope that every day I continue feeling the way that I do today. I no longer want to hide behind my hair or my smile. I just want to be able to be more in tune with me, take care of me better, get rid of that habit of taking care of everybody else but me. And I'm ready to do that. I'm so ready to do that. A reason why I decided to create this um, as a YouTube video was because I don't want to keep re-explaining it over and over and over to just random people and shit. So. The video's right here. This is it. This is the look. Officially took that model, uh, new year, new me, to a whole other level. <laughs> I hope you guys- Okay, you're absolutely fucking sure. Yeah, we're doing this. Oh my god. I know. Warren kept asking me today too. He's like, are you sure? Considering that my head used to be shaved, you would think that I wouldn't be so nervous. But I think it's because I don't know what's going on in your head. So I'm like, is she having like a fucking midlife crisis or something and I'm a part of it? I don't know. I'm nervous. Oh. I used to be like this, but I just haven't done anything like this in a very long time. Oh, uh, well. Okay, now ask me, are you sure? Because you're I here. <laughs> You're already doing it. Why did I agree to this? Oh my gosh. I felt like you were excited when I asked I you. am excited, <laughs> but I'm just, I want to make yeah, sure you're, like, just, look at that. you're just not going through some shit right now, that's all. <laughs> I mean, even this length is really cute. You sure? Yeah, we're doing it. Like, that's already chopped off. I know, but I mean... <laughs> it's already done. Yeah, but all your hair is not gone yet. It's okay. Okay. Can you do the first buzz? Okay. I need to see you do it first. That way I don't feel so fucking okay. 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 I'll, 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 I'll do the side. You told Kamar that you're doing it for sure. Oh yeah, he and he doesn't like He's hate like, me. He... <laughs> He's like, no. He's like, no. You're doing it. Look I'm like, I'm doing it. it. Oh shit. <laughs> Y'all, I'm that friend that if you want to do something crazy. <laughs> Is your mom gonna hate me?
<laughs> I shaved my head. Let me see. Here's like, guys, here's the um, ponytail of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. Oh my god, why'd you do this to yourself? I had to.